Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I'd like to sell a couple of Nintendo World Championship game carts. Oh, wow. I've never actually seen these in person. Most people haven't. These are the most coveted video games on the planet. So do you have to blow in it to start the game? Probably. <laughs> that, that'll never change no matter what Nintendo game you have. I'm a big Nintendo fan, I grew up with it, and so now I collect the games. It was a time when Nintendo dominated pop culture. While they mean a lot to me, I think I need the cash more right now. So what do you know about the Nintendo World Championship? You enter the competition in three age groups. You play Super Mario Brothers, Rad Racer, and Tetris. And the winner competes for lots of cool prizes like $10,000 in cash and a 1990 Geo Metro. So oh, awesome wow. prizes. The gray one was traded into a local game shop where I lived, and the owner got in touch with me. I made him an offer, I made a deal. These were actually played in the competition. This, however, is even more extremely rare than that one. Uh, this was a Nintendo Power promotion giveaway. They gave away 26 of them. Oh, you um, got the magazine. Oh, uh, yeah, these are great. So they gave out one to the first prize winner, and then 25 to second prize winners. Today, there's maybe only a dozen or so that are still confirmed to exist. I gotta ask, have you ever played them? I have played them with a friend on two different TVs, oh. like, just like the competition was. Here's a dip switch here, which changes the time on them. This was a time competition. These were individually numbered, so no one else has a number 205. And the gold one is really the same thing, but in a gold case. So how much did you pay for these? Uh, more than most people should have, probably. <laughs> you don't want to tell me, huh? Not particularly, no. Um, how much did you want for them? 35,000. 35,000, wow. That's a lot of money for me to fork out for some Nintendo games. You know, I have some concerns to whether or not that's how limited they are. I don't know too much about these things, rather than they are rare and they are cool. So I got a buddy I want to call to come down and, uh, and check these things out. OK. OK, give me just a second. I'll see if he's available. This is really cool. I mean, we don't only have the gray one, we got the gold one here from the 1990 World Championship of Nintendo. This is amazing. This is like from the first World Series of Gaming. This is like one of those items where like the clouds open and like the heaven choir and... <laughs> Not many are left. Exactly, exactly. That's so cool, man. All right, so I get that these games are collectible and they're cool. Are they authentic? And how much are they worth? Well, these all had numbers of gray games here. The dip switches, everything looks right. You mind if I take a closer look at the golden? Sure, I promise not to break it. I'll be very careful. <laughs> All right. There's always, uh, compared to a regular cartridge, just to have a little more weight, being that the extra chips in this piece here. The label looks right. Everything on the outside looks 100% the way it should. You also have some documentation, too. Can mm -hmm. you tell me a little more about that? So here's the bill of sale, and this has the individual I purchased it from, and he was an original owner. Here's his name right here in the issue of Nintendo Power. Wow. With all the documentation, I'm going to say without a doubt, this is 100% original. Both pieces here, and if you're a diehard gamer, you know what these games are. Everybody wants them, and that's what drives the value up on these two games. I would put a value on the gray between five to 8,000. This is a really nice example. And what about the gold one? Well, the gold one, the condition is amazing. The label's great. I'm going to have to put that on the higher end. Between 20 to 22 grand on that piece, you should have no problem getting that. They rarely, rarely, rarely ever come up to market. OK. Well, thank you. No problem. And thanks for bringing me, man. I love to see this stuff. Back in 1990, Nintendo only been out for about five years. They had the World Championship. Anything related to that event is highly collectible. And the gold cartridge from that event is probably the holy grail of gaming. All right, so you feel comfortable with what he said? Uh, I think my price before was uh, fair at 35000 Yeah, I'm not even comfortable coming anywhere near that price. Man. No? You have to understand I have to make money. Well, that's the thing. The fact that they don't come up for sales because they're so coveted. So you could charge almost whatever you want, and there'll be someone willing to get it, because the other 12 or 13 out there, they might never be for sale ever. This will be the only one for sale. I'm not supposed to make super big deals like this, but this could be a once-in-a-lifetime kind of buy. I mean, I see where you're coming from. They are very rare. But if you like to make some cash money right now, I'll give you $15,000 in $100 bills. No, I, I, think, I think that's too far apart from where I'm at right now. I, I think maybe I can go down to maybe 32. 
You gotta see where I'm coming from. I have to look at it in the absolute worst terms, so I have to look at them like they're gonna sell for the lowest amount, and I have to look at it like it's gonna sit here for at least a year. So what's a more realistic price you're looking for? Uh, I can't come down that much off it. OK, well, I mean, I, I wish I could offer you more, but I'm already stretching what I'm allowed to spend. We're about 15000 apart, so. Well, maybe it wasn't meant to be right now. Well, good luck selling them. I thought the offer of 15000 was too low for me, but hopefully down the line, someone will offer what I'm asking for.